How are we doing? Good, you? You got a leadoff question? Yeah, Coach, what are the vibes like in the locker room? Well, I don't know. Side? I don't go. I, I try I'm to sorry. coach them on, well, the, on field the field. And, I'm so sorry. Yeah, that's okay. You'd have to ask those guys. <laughs> I try not to spend a lot of time in the locker room, but I think the most important thing is that we, we got better each day throughout practice. You know, it comes down to, you know, us staying efficient uh, and not hurting ourselves offensively. It comes down to us, you know, setting the table better on special teams and then defensively, um, you know, trying to affect the quarterback. Easier said than done. Uh, they got off to a great start last week. With the, the Chargers did. So our, our ability to uh, force them into longer yardage situations uh, will be critical. I, five three, third and ones at three third and twos. It's impressive. How valuable are guys like McCrary and Molden able to, in the mid-game, be able to shift back to old roles, uh, you know, to help you out on defense? I mean, obviously, versatility is huge. Um, you know, just what's valuable is that everybody's doing their job, everybody's doing it at a high level, and if they make a mistake, they don't make the same mistake twice, and that they, um, you know, are playing up to the standard and having versatility and being able to do that. I uh, play multiple positions. We've talked about that um, at length. It is great. And you know, whether it's an inside backer that can play both, you know, a guy like the Nico that can play some inside, play some outside, uh, safeties that can play nickels, corners that can go in and play nickels inside and outside. That was a guy, uh, Kiers, you know, we've seen his return guy, obviously, but in, in terms of the route running and, and learning the receiver position, how does he coming along in that respect? It's gotten better, you know, it's improved. I mean, we're just, you know, we'll, we'll work Kyrus in, and, you know, but he's really improved and done a nice job and um, you know, try to work him in there a little bit more. We'll see about what Eckler's uh, availability looks like. But if he doesn't play, what's Kelly's skill set like and how does he do? Well, they both, you know, they, they handed it to him 17 times each, I think. Um, strong runner, physical runner. Um, Good vision, you know. Good jump cut, you know. Made a nice jump cut uh, on third and one. Had some penetration into the backfield last week, and shortly thereafter, the handoff was able to, to jump cut and get vertical, and you know, get his pads down and gain a couple hard yards uh, on short yardage. So, you know, both are good backs, and you know, they probably a different skill set. But you know, Kelly runs hard and run, runs with good pad level. How did? Uh... Gibbons do last week. So we saw the one tackle for loss, the penetration that he had there, but uh, he seems to be pretty active, it looked like. And no issues with Gibby. None. This guy's lined up, communicates, triggered when he needed to trigger. Um, yeah. So again, that's why he's in there. How's Dylan's progress? You feel like he's getting closer? Yeah, yeah, I think uh, Dylan will play in the game, so that'd be great. That's a testament to him. And how hard he worked, and uh, the process here to get him back and get him ready to go. You know, it feels comfortable and confident. So excited to to have him with us this weekend. What position will Dylan play? Yeah, he's offensive lineman. That's Dylan's position. You know, they play. He's actually going to have an, another versatility role. Anybody you can rule out? Uh, Hooker will be out, and Fulton will be out. Uh, feel good. What's always been like, Dodger, as you kind of worked your way through? Uh, you know, it's it's a process. You know, getting ready, uh, get my body prepared for you know whatever's next. Is it is it uh, like if you, if you go a week without practicing with it? Is it is it tough to get out there on Sunday, or you, you feel like it's a good possibility? Um, is it tough? No, it's not tough. No, it's not tough. Yeah, last offensive snap kind of just rolled up on my ankle pretty good. Always, always preparing, expected to play. Got to. How do you feel? You would have liked to obviously come back and get on the field with Ryan to work on the things that went wrong. Of course. Were you able to do behind the scenes with him? I mean, you know, we really didn't have much time, maybe, you know, a minute or um, well, actually if that, you know, um, if we would have got the ball back. But, you know, we prepared those those situations and count. You know, those guys did before I, even, I got here as well. You could tell how, how they prepared and count when, when we went over those scenarios. So, um, you know, hopefully, you know, you, 
you don't want to be in those situations, but uh, I feel like, you know, we were prepared. You've been able to talk with him. As far as his weakness concerned, have you gotten to sit down and watch a lot of film with him? Of course. Uh, that's, you know, while Ryan played a lot of football, um, you know, that's why his record is what it is because he's the kind of guy that's going to come in the, in the film room and, and help us correct our mistakes and, uh, you know, his mistakes as well. Have you been able to do anything physical this uh, week? Yeah, I do something physical every week. Such as? Such as come to work, which is football. What do you see from their secondary? Um, I played against those guys last year. Um, you know, some guys aren't there that was there last year, but most of them are. Uh, smart group. Um, you know, those guys play ball. Those guys win. Um, you've seen what they did, you know, last year. Obviously, it was a good game against Miami last week as well, against some of the best receivers in the league. So, uh, you know, we got to come prepared. It turned into a track game for them against Miami. What kind of stood out about the opportunities that they were able to take back? Uh, you know, I don't really like, you know, like talk about other teams, um, you know, but obviously Miami had some success doing things and in the NFL. You know, you want to go out and try to have the same success as other teams, but you know, our skill set is different in Miami receiver skill set. What the next couple of days will be like as you try to get yourself uh, ready for Sunday? Um, you know, just trying to get my my body ready to go uh, if I'm if I'm up Sunday, uh, and that's really kind of you know a day to day process. You figure it's a, a Sunday morning decision. Go to uh, we shall see. You know, I haven't you know uh, been here to make those decisions, uh, and you know. Haven't been in uh, that scenario, so I'm not sure how it goes. But you know, I'll be, you know, I'll be prepared. Uh, if my my numbers up, I hope. Thanks, Andre. Appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate it. Same time is exciting because I knew it was going to be a better rehab than even my right one was. Because like I said, I had all those resources, so uh, a little bit of excitement, but also, I mean, just knowing that was a long grind. I mean, eight nine months is always the timeline for that. So. Uh, uh, it was a little bit of a grind, but a little bit of excitement in there, too. What's the process like as far as patience on your part, teammates saying, hey, mm -hmm. the time's coming, and you're just yeah. kind of having to weather the storm a little bit? Um, yeah, like you said, it's just patience. I mean, because you can't rush. The grass has got to settle, all that stuff. I mean, all those medical terms that the doctors tell you. I mean, uh, you can't rush an ACL uh, back to health. I mean, obviously, people heal at different rates. And like I said, we did all those tests and kept testing it and pushing it forward. And I'm able to play this week. And like I said, it took a lot of patience to get here, but we're here now, so hopefully uh, it goes. It goes well. The last time I saw you was at left tackle. Have you been mm -hmm. working anywhere in particular this week? Yeah, yeah. I've been working wherever they need me, which is, is everywhere right now. Um, uh, just trying to figure out where we're going to need me this season and stuff like that. And, uh, uh, yeah, we'll see where that leads, and I'm prepared to play anywhere. So. Does that complicate the return to play for you, or is it kind of natural to you to be learning everything at once? Uh, it kind of matches, I mean, because you do rehab on the left leg, and then you're trying to do all sorts of positions. So I've already been working all the positions and then uh, in rehab, and so when they throw me back into practice, it's like I've already been there, I've been working it. So. What can tell you about maybe what kind of role they're going to have you in on Sunday? Do you kind of need to um, yeah, I mean, just kind of playing where they need me. Uh, I, I couldn't tell you exactly where it's going to be, um, but uh, wherever they plug me in, I'm definitely going to be ready to play there. So.